How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here with some pretty exciting stuff today. This is the eight physical products from the Intellivision Amico. I'm going to open up a couple of these to show you what's inside. And I know other times in the past, some articles have said that it's physical media. Uh, it's not quite that. And once you see what's inside, you'll see what I'm talking about. With the sounds of my son eating breakfast cereal in the background, because it's a Saturday morning, what else are you going to do on a Saturday morning except for play video games and eat breakfast cereal? Darren, what is it? What are you eating? You both do. You want more cereal? Okay. I do want to let you know up front, I'm not sponsored or endorsed by Intellivision. I'm not a financial backer, but I did receive these for the purpose of this video, so thank you. You know, I was just in Southern California for that Rarity movie premiere, and while I was there, I was staying with my friend Steve DeLuca, and we had Tommy Tallarico come over to his place, hook up the Amico, so we could check out a couple of these new games, and then uh, tell me more about this. So I'm basically just going to regurgitate the information I have on this, and if you have any questions whatsoever, you can drop them in the comments, um, or in television proper, the actual YouTube channel is also doing a similar video that I'm sure will have way more information than I do. We especially had fun with this game here. The belly laughs from myself and Steve were infectious. I loved it. And this one's interesting, because you got a... Like, nice, dude. Are they going to blow you up? Dude! Oh, that's cool. <laughs> you got crotched. There's honestly no reason for this video to drag on longer than it needs to, so for the first unveil... Da -da -da -da. If you're an old school Intellivision fan, this right here will look very familiar. But when you purchase one of these boxed editions, this is this is what you get here. And I think it's all right. You get this lenticular card, just kind of a fun, anyway, in lieu of a, an instruction manual. I hope you can see that there. And then on the back, tells you a little bit more about the game and everything. You also get this coin. You got the Intellivision Running Man on one side with a little bit of the uh, frames of animation circling around it. And then the other side is featuring the game. And this game happens to be a game called Finnegan Fox. And it's not the first time games have done coins before. I think Signature Edition was one where when I purchased some games at PAX, they gave me a coin representing each game too. So it's just kind of a fun little... They didn't need to include this. They didn't. They did. But I'll take it. It's unfortunate for me that it's not the size of an arcade token. Maybe it's better for that's not so because then you're you know then you won't spend it or whatever. But it won't quite fit in my quarter holder. So it's like ah, it's, it's all right. So it'll just stay in the packaging. Here's the true test. Does it do that cool flippy sound when you flip the coin? Let's see if we can listen. Come up. Yeah, kind of. Is that pretty fancy? And then finally we have the game itself, which you'll recognize again, like I said, because it looks like the old Intellivision games. It's just like a business card size thing. But I just thought, I was like, okay, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. You probably already figured out what this is for, and you'd be right. When you have your system turned on and plugged into the internet, and I'm gonna get back to that in a second, you simply tap it on top, like where the two controllers go, there's a section there. In fact, that section literally looks like that, the RFID. You do that, the game downloads, and then that digital game is connected to your Intellivision Amico. Once it's done, it never needs to be online ever again. You do not need to have your Intellivision Amico connected to the internet to play the games that you've downloaded. It does need to be connected so we can download the game in the first place using this card, using this card right here. But then once you have it, if the internet goes out, you can still play your digital games, which is nice because my wife and I share accounts. Well, she'll have her own games, but I can still download them on the other PlayStation, you know what I'm talking about? And then if the internet goes out, I can't play those anymore. Now I'm sure you're like me, and I immediately had questions. Namely being, what's to stop someone from putting the game on their Amico and then selling this at GameStop or trading it to a friend or something like that when they already have the game and then this is preventing them from downloading the game again or whatever the case is. Well, I'm not gonna show you the whole number. That number is tied to this specific card for this specific game. Meaning if you do happen to get it and the game is still linked to someone else's account, you can tap it again and it will unlink it from the other account. And I still have more questions beyond that. And then let's say for instance, you know, down the road it's inevitable, you know, the servers go down. Happened recently when the Nintendo Wii shop went down, you know? He said there's other servers or side servers have something involved, so even if the servers are down, you're still able to get the game that you need to put onto your system. We'll, we'll see, is all I can say about that, we'll see. And these cards are literally business card sized. So not that you need to, but if you happen to have something like a Ridge Wallet, you can literally store your games and something like that, if you wanted to. I mean, I don't know why you'd want to, but you know, this is one of those options that I considered. And the best thing about these games is you can do your magic trick, right? And then here's another game here, Dino Blaster. Plays a lot like a, like, like a Bomberman or something like that. And you're gonna get the same idea inside too. Oh, and there's, and there's stuff on the back too, of course. 
Got the lenticular card, another coin. This is a Dino Blaster coin, and then of course the um, the thing to uh, put the game on here. And again, too, with the Intellivision Amico, the games are linked to your system, which is also linked to your controllers as well. So if you bring your controllers to someone else's place and you tap your controller onto their system, then that Amico, while you're there, already has the games that are already on your system, which is kind of interesting. And I like that idea. I like the idea of like traveling to someone else's place and not carrying like your system and your controllers and your games and all this other stuff. <laughs> it's just one thing, it's all you need, just need that controller. Need to point out too that these packages are biodegradable. Neat. So again, you can't call these physical media because it's not physical media. Now sure, I would have preferred if they had a little port with a box and you could actually plug a physical cartridge into it, that would be awesome. Especially if it worked for old school Intellivision games and these newer games, I would have loved that more than anything. But to me, that's also like asking Nintendo to release a port where I can play my physical NES carts on the Nintendo Switch. It's not gonna happen. Mm. And these carts are about the size of an NES game. About the same size. And then putting them up on the shelf and everything like that, I mean, they look fine. Because they're smaller, they might stand out a little bit from what you also already have on your shelf. And just a quick look at all eight games, there's Finnegan Fox here. Looks like the fun kind of cartoony platformy game I'd play on my Nintendo Switch. Got Dyna Blaster here. I mean, it's a great value bomber, man, but I mean, four player fun, I'm down. Ridge Force Redux Enhanced. There's even a two player option, kind of like R-Type. It'd be like if one controlled the ship and one controlled the pod thingy, that's like Invincible. That's kind of fun. Evil Knievel here. Again, Steve and I had a lot of fun playing this game. Biplanes. Curious to check this one out. <laughs> got, hey, but what about Brain Duel? Huh? Kind of reminds me of those like Brain Age DS games. Got the classic missile command. Yeah, you can't go wrong here. You got Moon Patrol. Love the art on this one. I played a ton of Moon Patrol for the Atari 2600 and kind of bringing back those nostalgic vibes. I do wish they were a different color as well. Now, I'm not saying that the future versions won't be a different color, but it's like, oh, cool. I and mean, it's my favorite color, but it's like, eh. It reminds me of like what Nintendo Switch is doing, where everything's red with just the basic text. Hard to tell which one's which, you know? We got it this time. Come on, Steve. Oh. No. I almost just like have to like roll off the edge. Go try going down. Going to the first one here. Yeah, don't get it too much. Get down. Oh, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> and concussion. All right, <laughs> All right this time. This time for real. What's your souped up a uh, super bike there? Not the, too much. All right. It's oh. the cape. <laughs> oh, I got the top. <laughs> Watch it right on the, on the bar. Yeah, the bar. All right. <laughs> oh, no. Dude! <laughs> it never gets old, too. Like, no, I, mean, I know. It's... Hey, trust me. It's still funny. Okay. Be careful. Oh, jeez. Okay. Right. There you go. Now give it juice. There you go. Oh! oh! <laughs> Ouch. Jeez. All right. And then remember, hit that gas. But not too much. Right? That was perfect. Okay. All right. And watch, you can crash into each other too. And then you're going to hit... Oh, that's way too early. <laughs> yeah, you're you're kind of right. Okay. Oh, look at this guy, though. Bro. 500. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Listen, listen. 